Pristique is a key in helping to treat my depression. Ask your doctor about Pristique. So you're sitting at home and you think, man, I think I've got the swine flu. I'm going to log on to a new website from Microsoft that claims it can help you figure out how serious the swine flu is and tell you whether or not you need to go to the doctor. But is this site good? Is it safe? Dr. Svetlana Kogan is a general internist and founder of Doctors at Trump Place. She and her daughter both had the swine flu. You had it in May. How bad was it for both of you? Good morning, guys. It was actually terrible. We were both extremely sick. But you know, uh, this idea of a big corporation lending a hand to sick people is just making me laugh. Everybody's trying to cash in on this epidemic, and it's creating hysteria, and it's giving people a false sense that they can be triaged by the software. Well, that just cannot be. Yeah, happening. so so Microsoft has got this H1N1 uh, action plan, or what do they call it, the re response center where you're uh, online and you click some different answers. And we got some of the uh, questions they ask you. They ask you, how many days have you felt like you uh, might have had the flu? Has your temperature been higher than 100.4? Do you have a cough or sore throat? It's hard to breathe. Or do you feel short of breath since you got sick? Now, those are all symptoms of of the swine flu but uh, doctor those are also s symptoms of a whole bunch of other stuff exactly the swine flu did not read the book and you know <laughs> if we could have software diagnose people and treat people we wouldn't have doctors anymore mm -hmm. if we use the, the software it's a recipe for disaster we can miss a lot of bronchitis we can miss a lot of pneumonia uh, a lot of complications and um, I think people should entrust their lives, their health, exclusively to their doctor's hands and their own common sense, not a software. Because the uh, website claims that it tells you when it's time for you to go to the hospital. So how do people know when it's time for them to get to the hospital? People should immediately contact their physician that they are not feeling well. Should, they should not be making any rushful decisions based on the software created by people who have nothing to do with medicine actually mm -hmm. and um, I had a terrible experience with the emergency room sometimes the emergency room can, can misdiagnose you but you should definitely contact the physician who knows you who knows your past medical history and uh, another preposterous fact is the physician in New York City don't have the flu shots regular flu shots forget about the swine flu right. the Walgreens and CVS have four million plus flu shots, and we, physicians of New York City, don't have them. Why? Nobody knows, but I think it's one of the schemes, the black market out there. You know, there are flu shots floating around at $79 a shot, but none of the gynecologists that I know, none of the pediatricians uh -huh. that I know have the shot. But uh, we had Walgreens on the show. In fact, I got the shot, and you get the regular flu shot. And I, I, it wasn't $79. It was a quite affordable price. Exactly. I'm just saying that the physicians don't have the shots. And if we were to buy them on the black market, they're offered to us at $79 a shot. All right. But ultimately, though, if you think you have the flu, don't go online. Call your doctor. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Dr. Svetlana Kogan, we thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. It is my pleasure. All right.